Hi guys, I'm your host from Hairsite.com, one of the world's largest and longest running websites for hair restoration. Today's video is produced in collaboration with Dr. Bobak of Alvi Armani Hair Clinic, a number one top ranked hair clinic in the US according to our patient results statistics. Now today we're reporting another big development in the world of stem cells or cell based hair restoration technologies, exosomes therapy, and it's available right now. All the buzz these days is about cell tech regenerative therapeutics and the appeal of cell based technologies is pretty obvious. Not only are cell based hair restoration treatments less invasive than hair transplants, but they also hold the potential for a cure for hair loss. It really is just a matter of time when patients no longer need to rely on hair transplants as the only means to regain their natural growing hair back. So what are exosomes? Exosomes are the next big thing in stem cell research. Now, exosomes are not stem cells per se, but they're building blocks for stem cells. The functions of these protein building blocks are dependent on their cell of origin. Exosomes are nanoparticles involved in cell to cell communication. So, think of exosomes as mediators that are responsible for communicating and sending genetic signals between cells. They carry all the signaling necessary that changes the behavior of neighboring cells. Here's what Matthias Belting, professor of clinical oncology at Lund University, says about exosomes. The most exciting thing about exosomes is that they represent a new way of cells to communicate and they can then transfer complex biological information from one cell to another within a particle structure and as opposed to uh, the current knowledge about how cells communicate through single proteins or single signaling molecules, this is now a whole particle that can carry uh, a lot of complex information between cells. What you're seeing uh, is actually the green dots are the exosomes that we have isolated. Well, the finding we have made is then how these exosomes are received by uh, cells, that is how the exosomes bind to and make entry into recipient cells. There's now mounting evidence suggesting that exosomes play an important role in cell to cell communication. Research into exosomes and their viability in the field of regenerative medicine is happening for joint regeneration, facial rejuvenation, Lyme disease, and even hair regeneration, just to name a few. Exosomes based therapeutics mark a breakthrough in regenerative medicine. Research into exosomes for hair restoration is really starting to recognize the potential of exosomes for people suffering with hair loss. Now, presently, exosomes can be administered in two ways for people with hair loss or thinning hair. The first is an injection after creating a serum. The serum is the same as most blood treatments, but it requires additional filtration and manufacturing to selectively isolate the exosomes. Beneficial growth factors can also be added to the serum at the doctor's discretion. The second delivery method is similar to the first. Instead of traditional injections, however, it adopts a microneedling technique and that's the practice of puncturing the scalp with microneedles to improve retention and efficacy. Research by UCLA indicates that both injection and microneedling are viable, although current results suggest that microneedling may be more effective. Currently, surgeons are applying exosome treatment for hair restoration via injection. And that being said, microneedling may rise in popularity over time, or a totally different delivery method may crop up. Exosomes is a brand new cell based technology, and it holds a lot of potential in the field of minimally invasive hair regeneration. As of now, Dr. Bobak and his team at Alvi Armani Hair Clinic is one of the very few in the world that offers exosomes hair therapy. And we anticipate that there will be many more clinics following Dr. Bobak's initiatives in this area and start offering exosomes hair therapy to their patients in the near future. Let's hear what Dr. Bobak and Alvi Armani Cell Tech Research Specialist Dr. Cherit has to say about exosomes for hair growth. Something that we are excited about here are exosomes. This is where a part of the cell cytoplasm, the outer covering is taken, and within it, you have a lot of cytokines and growth factors that really help promote follicular genesis 
and follicular growth. We are working on a lot of trying to generate, the main thing is to grow hair, you know, obviously encourage hair to grow without, you know, a very invasive, as you know, right, you know, the procedure is not easy. We are small molecules right now that actually does better than what's in the current in the market, say two or three times better. You have other things like uh, fetal cord blood, you have mesotherapy where you inject uh, various things in the scalp, but uh, these are the things that we found to be most effective and our options for patients that choose not to undergo the procedure itself, they have all of these options and even if they do choose the procedure, it's good to combine some of these options together. To learn more about this topic or other cutting-edge hair restoration techniques, contact Dr. Bobak and his team today. No cost, no fee, just good, honest information. Dr. Bobak is the medical director of Alvi Armani Hair Clinic, a number one top-ranked sponsoring clinic on HairSite, offering FUE and other advanced hair restoration procedures with over 15 years of uninterrupted patient records.